Hey guys, thank you for joining another episode of Mukbang with your host, Dong Diggity. Miss you guys. It's been so long, like a week. It's just been crazy because we went to vacation, me and Kimmy, and we came back. As soon as we came back, we had to go to birthday party, and if, after the birthday party, we got like three hours of sleep and went to Kimmy's sister's graduation. Congratulations, she's a doctor. After we came back, we moved. So this is my own film room. <laughs> yep. Um, and as you know, if you watch Kimmy's channel too, by the way, follow Kimmy if you don't, um, moved. With the roommate, I will introduce you to my roommate probably next episode. So today we're going to have Wendy's. So I was working out today and I see this commercial with bomb ass looking burger like and it was called Baconator from Wendy's. I like Wendy's how like they're so creative with new stuff all the time and there's always something to eat which I love and I'm really hoping that it looks somewhat damn it's patty with cheese and bacon and patty with some sauce and bacon your baconator damn and got myself some chili oh shoot last deal let's eat And I'll probably, I will upload a picture of my room and everything. But I hope, uh, it's actually kind of boring in the background. Maybe I should add more stuff. So, as some of you might know, I went to LA and um, Palm Springs for about a week. Let me take a bite first. Mm. Okay, it's very meaty. Very meaty. You don't even taste the bun, you taste meat only. <laughs> and bacon. <laughs> so I went to Palm Springs. Um, it was my first time ever going to Palm Springs or any kind of desert like that. It wasn't like... San Sahara thing, but it was more like like boulders and rock and somewhat sand. And surrounded by beautiful, beautiful mountains. Um, it was so awesome. So we went there for Kimmy's. Um, Kimmy got invited to this something called ClamorCon. ClamorCon. So out there, where you get to learn many things, they teach you many things, and you get to see many, many other YouTubers. And we saw a bunch of lizards, that was kind of cool. And then we got to see a lizard. Mm. I got to try something called in and out Burger. I tried it before, but I just thought it was random fast food. Um, didn't think much of it, just got a random cheeseburger, I think. I was young. But I know why all the hype. Mm. 
Yeah, I shouldn't talk about other food while I'm eating a food. So in this trip, I met so many new people. So I got a chance to meet up with some cool other mukbangers at LA. We met some cool mukbangers at LA. Yanni Eats, Eat with Justine, Hungry Cakes, and um, Tian Li. They were all fun mukbangers, and we all got. We went to Sacha. Or Samcha. We went to Samcha. When we gather, what do we do? We eat! We bomb ass food. It's flame. Like everyone there was so down to earth, chill, fun. They were really nice and kind. And it was really easy to get along with. why people love California though. Love the weather. Yeah. California weather. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm as here. You can smell my food. Yeah, California was dope. Weather was always somewhat perfect, but if there's one thing that I didn't like was traffic. Like here, traffic I thought it was pretty bad, but there, man, this place is only like 15 miles away, but it takes me like two, three hours to get there. Seems like everywhere you want to go, you have to take highway. That was a bit odd. And one, one thing I hate is traffic. I hate that feeling of getting stuck. I feel helpless. We decided to leave early, but we still get in stuck in traffic. We went a little later, got stuck in traffic. Obviously not after like at night time it's open, but we even GPS it like from Palm Spring to LA at like middle of night we're like oh it's only like an hour away and we woke up and typed it in it's like three hours I'm like what I hate traffic <sighs> California that is awesome so as you know me Kimmy and my roommate, we all had separate room. We could have gone two bedroom and use one as a studio. That's what we were originally planning. But then we have this friend, my friend that um, I've known for over 10 years, that we still keep in good touch with. Kimmy got to hang out with them well too, and then she gets along with him very nicely. And you don't find that easily. Usually your girlfriend hates all of your friends. But anywho, while we were looking for apartments and he was talking about how he always wanted to do something like that but he never got to and now it's kind of too late so he never will. And after that, he left and I told him, I remember I promised him back in high school before we got into college that we will room together and we'll have greatest time ever. But then we both got accepted to different college. We both went our separate ways. So the cheese is like, it looks like I'm slipping a noodle. But, Kimmy was like, hey, do you want to just get a roommate? And we'll just, that'll be so freaking fun. And I was like, oh my god, that was so much fun. That's a great idea. Let's all have fun. So, thanks to Kimmy for agreeing with this. Now, 
I have a roommate. And plus, we're gonna use this room as Kimmy's film room, but Kimmy, that's more exciting and fun. So we have separate rooms. So I could decorate my way, and she could have her own feng shui thing going on. And plus, like, I work in the morning, but she doesn't have to wake up early, so she could stay up all night to do editing and watching her shows. Because I'm super duper sensitive sleeper, so if anything's turned on, I can't sleep. But more than me, I think she she's more happier about this. Me, it's like, I, I mean, I still do want to sleep next to her. Because if you slept next to somebody for that long, and if that person's not there, really awkward and it's like, Lonely and the, all this space. Too much space. So probably I'll do a my room tour or something. Oh my gosh! Um, a couple of days ago I fell asleep in my room because she was organizing this place still. And it was thunderstorming like mad crazy and power went out. I guess as soon as power went out, I was like asleep but I could hear both of those door open. And my roommate, his name is Kyung, he comes out and then my girlfriend Kimmy pops out. They both face each other and start screaming and then she opens my door with Ame. I said, Tom, my light went out. Well, I thought that was kind of cute. So she, she thinks she's all that independent, but she needs me. <laughs> I know she was scared. But I love sleeping through actually thunderstorm. I don't know why. Korean word of the day is Yo Hang. Which means travel. And we say, Yoheng Kayo. And let's go. Could be like Kayo. And travel is Yoheng. So, Yoheng. Get the bum, 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 bum. Okay, if you guys are meat lovers, definitely you guys will love Baconator. And especially if you love bacon. For my type, because mm, I like more vegetable in my burger, which makes it so much better oh and i'm a fan of soft bacon i, don't, I think it's kind of weird i don't think that many people eat it that way but i like my bacon to be like kind of mushy undercooked bacon i don't think that's healthy but but bacon isn't that healthy either right yeah every time i go to wendy's 